Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you about a little shenanigan going on right now in Washington. It's over something called the Doc Fix. Perhaps you've heard of this. This is legislation where Congress makes sure that doctors who take Medicare patients are actually getting paid enough through Medicare to be willing to continue to take those patients. Now, they've had to take up this legislation about 17 times over the last 12 years. And the reason is, whenever it comes up, they don't actually fix it. They just kind of put a Band-Aid on it. Now, to their credit, they've always found dollars in other parts of the government to pay for the program so that we're not adding new dollars, we're not increasing taxes. But fast forward to where we are today. John Boehner has struck a deal with Nancy Pelosi that doesn't do what they've done in the past. This would actually say we're going to pay doctors for the next 10 years so they don't have to worry about it because this isn't something we should have to be bringing up so often. Well, most of us would agree with that. We ought to have real Medicare reform, make this a truly sustainable program, and not something that has to constantly be tinkered with. But that's not what's happened here. They've talked about the fact they've put some reforms in. They've put a few but none that are big enough or bold enough to actually make this a sustainable program. And as it turns out, over this 10 years, and if you go out further over 20, we're likely going to add, and this is a conservative estimate, over $400 billion to the national debt if this legislation passes. Because unlike in years past, this program does not pay for itself. They are borrowing from the next generation. Now, you can often tell a lot about a legislation by who's behind it. And in this case, it's Speaker Boehner, Nancy Pelosi, and it's likely to get through the House with a lot of votes from Democrats. It'll be interesting to see how many House Republican conservatives actually vote for it. Over in the Senate, Harry Reid, Democrats there, they aren't kicking up much of a fuss. Why? They probably like the bill. They're getting a lot of what they want, and they're getting it without having to pay for it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not real entitlement reform. It's not real Medicare reform, despite what they tell you. This is called passing the buck. This is not real Medicare reform. This is putting a hundreds of billion dollars of debt on taxpayers and the next generation. This is not reform. What this is, is unacceptable.